begin to a guided morning meditation to refocus our minds because sometimes our minds they just run away with us don't they sometimes nothing is wrong but because we can be so used to feeling uneasy we go searching for it even when we're not right Sometimes everything's going wonderful and yet we'll call that one problematic person who we know is going to have some drama going on or some sadness or a sap story to complain about and you just want to be a listening ear, you just want to be close to the toxicity, close to the dramas, close to the headaches, close to things you don't need, things that do not serve us. Now these things are not physical, these things are spiritual. It's the energy that you are trying to find even though you are moving forward in life and things are getting better why why are you looking for negative energy to go back to so let's listen to this guided meditation that i will facilitate to help us come back to center deep breaths in And exhale. Another deep breath in. Hold. And exhale. Another deep breath in. Keep breathing in. Now hold it for as long as you can. Keep holding and when you can't hold it in any longer, audibly, very loudly, exhale. Let's do it again. Make sure our shoulders raise up. Stomachs are filled with air. That diaphragm is up. Hold it, and exhale, and inhale, hold it, reach those hands to the sky, and exhale, and one more time. Inhale, hold, 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 and exhale. How do you feel? I breathe in deeply and I exhale. I breathe in deeply and I exhale. I breathe in deeply and I exhale. I'm choosing to focus on the positive in my life. I am choosing to focus on the good in my life. I must ask myself these questions every time I start to think negatively. Why am I wallowing in sorrow? Why am I wallowing in sorrow? Everything is going perfectly well for me. Why am I searching for the negative in my life? Why am I looking for stories of sadness, of trauma, of drama? Why am I searching for negativity? Is it me searching for this negative energy? Is it me searching for these things 
that spiritually do not serve me or is it can it be something else these thoughts these feelings this pull is not of me dear lord take it away these thoughts these energies this pull is not of me take it away I am a peaceful, happy, abundant, expansive person. Why? Why, dear Lord, am I searching for a reason to feel sad? Why am I taking a substance that is going to bring down my vibes? Why, dear Lord? Please, hear my pleas and take away this urge. Take away this urge to do things that do not serve me, dear Lord. Please take away the urge to indulge in activities that do not serve me. Why am I trying to cling to things that you have saved me from, dear Lord? Hear my cries. Hear my pleas. Join me. Walk with me. Take my hand. Free me from this stronghold that I am facing for no reason other than it is not of me. This is the spiritual warfare that I face, dear Lord, and I am praying and begging for your deliverance. Please sit with me, dear Lord, in this peaceful place, this humble place that you have created for me. Please, dear Lord, open my eyes to see all the blessings that you have already bestowed upon me, dear Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, dear Lord, open my heart to accept happiness and joy that is in my life. Please, dear Lord, guide my tongue to speak words of fulfillment and enrichment over my life, over the lives of those I love. Please help me to be a blessing and not a curse. Please help me to continue walking in your path of righteousness, dear Lord. Please help me to continue being the light and shining bright. I know that there are principalities out there that want me to be downtrodden, sorrow-eyed, shoulders slumped. But inside, I see and I feel a different version of me, Lord. So help me to get to that. The version of me that I see is jubilant smiles skips can't wait to do the next activity please dear lord walk with me i plea and i cry do not leave your servant here do not leave your sheep to wander alone please guide me back to the flock please be there with me when i need you the most when my mind is trying to take hold of me, when my mind is, has now become the host, please take it away, dear Lord. I am forever your servant and I am forever humble and meek. And all that I seek right now is your guidance, your blessing, your everlasting love, your unconditional love. I appreciate it so much. I thank you for always being there for me and always delivering me from these things. I pray and I thank you for always seeing me through to the end and guiding me. Oh, dear Lord, thank you. This prayer comes from the heart. Refocus my mind. Refocus my spirit. Please allow me to go towards the things that are for my highest good. I know you are the most high, dear Lord. I know you have the power. And I have faith, and I know my faith will make it so. Please raise me up. As a chosen one, sometimes the enemy is within, and we must acknowledge that. We must have self-awareness to know when we are being our own enemies as well. And uh, this is the inner work that needs to be done. No crystals needed. No sage needed. Realize where our thoughts and minds are going and separate from it and realize that sometimes those thoughts are not us. Those thoughts are insecurities. It's the spirit of insecurity. It's the spirit of loneliness. It's the spirit of doubt. The spirit of emptiness. The spirit of a need to feed. Of gluttony. Gluttony for the things that are negative in our lives. 
we must let go of these things in order to store